In this video, we are going to solve a couple of numerical questions on how to calculate standard Gibbs free energy change for different reactions. So the first question asks you basically the same for the reaction CO3O4 plus 4CO forms 3CO plus 4CO2 calculate the standard Gibbs free energy change. And we also have some additional information given here which is the standard enthalpy of formation of each of these reactants and products. We also have the standard entropy values as well. Okay. So we can use the information given here and find the standard Gibbs free energy change using the formula delta G naught R is equal to delta H naught R minus T delta H naught R. So basically all we need to do is to calculate the delta H naught values and the delta S naught value using this information for the entire reaction and substitute them in this equation to get the standard Gibbs free energy change. Okay. And how do we do that? Well, the standard enthalpy change for this reaction is nothing but the sum of the standard enthalpies of formation of products minus the sum of the standard enthalpies of formation of reactants. So this is straightforward, right? We simply need to plug in these values into this equation. But remember when we do that, we also need to take into account the stoichiometry coefficients of the products and the reactants. And we get 3 times the standard enthalpy of formation of cobalt plus 4 times the standard enthalpy of formation of carbon dioxide minus the standard enthalpy of formation of CO3O4 plus 4 times the enthalpy of formation of CO. Now remember this very important because this is a place where most of the students do forget or do get confused and they do not take into account the stoichiometry coefficients into these equations. You see otherwise it's a pretty straightforward calculation, right? So when you do that and incorporate these values here, we get the final answer as minus 241 kilojoules per mole. Now you might notice that the enthalpy of formation of cobalt given here is zero, but all others have non-zero values. Now this is a convention that the standard enthalpy of formation of an element in its standard state is defined as zero. Because you see, the standard enthalpy of formation is the change in the enthalpy when one mole of a compound is formed from its constituent elements in its standard form. And when we talk about elements like cobalt in its standard state, it is already in the most stable form, right? So there is no formation reaction needed here. And this is why by convention, we assign the standard enthalpy of formation for elements as zero. So now that we have the delta H naught value, our next step is to calculate the value of delta H naught or the standard entropy change for the given reaction. And we can do that by using this equation, which is the sum of the standard entropies of products minus the sum of the standard entropies of reactants. Here again, remember to incorporate or take into account the stoichiometry coefficients of our reactants and products. All right. And by substituting these values into this equation, we get the final answer as 51.5 joules per mole Kelvin. So next step is pretty obvious. We need to substitute the delta H naught and delta H naught values in this equation. And when we do that, our final answer comes out to be delta G naught value or the standard Gibbs free energy change for this given reaction is 256.45 kilojoules per mole. All right, let's look at one more question. Our next question asks us to calculate the standard free energy of formation of Na2O2 at 298 kelvins. We also have some information here, which is the standard Gibbs free energy change for the given reaction and the standard free energy of formation of Na2O is minus 380 kilojoules per mole. We need to calculate the standard free energy of formation of Na2O2. For that, we use this formula. The standard Gibbs free energy change of a reaction is equal to the sum of the standard free energy of formation of products minus the sum of the standard free energy of formation of reactants. Here again, remember to take into account the stoichiometry coefficients of our reactants and products. So that is a must, all right? Whenever we are calculating the standard Gibbs free energy change or enthalpy change or entropy change, remember to always take into account the stoichiometry coefficients. So this is what we need to calculate and by rearranging the equation and by substituting the value that is given here, we get the final answer as standard free energy of formation of Na2O2 is minus 452 kilojoules per mole. Now here again you will notice that the standard Gibbs free energy of formation of oxygen in its standard state is conventionally defined as zero. And this is once again because oxygen is an element and because no energy is involved when an element is in its most stable state, 
the delta g0f value for any element would be 0.